Welcome back to another Fish and Bell video, but today we're going to be finishing up the engine room, adding props, and finishing up the paint. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is paint this entire like roof area up here because I really feel like it should be a different color than the actual main body. There we go. We got that painted, but we cannot forget these um support beams. I think we're going to also paint the support beams. I don't know if it's going to look good like that, but we will see. So I'm just going to finish up painting all this random stuff. Oh, I did not want to paint that. There we go. We got that painted. I think that looks much better. It actually adds like some more color to this thing. We're still going to like paint all this other stuff over here. Probably. I don't know what we're going to do though, but we should probably start on this engine room. So the first thing I wanted to do in here is actually like make a little workshop because that's what's in actual um, fishing boats in real life. They have a workshop somewhere just in case there's like a leak or something. They need to actually be able to like fix it. So we're going to do that and then we need to see where this wall is at. So it's right there. So we're going to make an actual um, an additional access hatch down to that area. We'll do something like that and then we need to grab ourselves a hatch and it will stick out a little bit. So we'll just grab a hatch like this and then it will open going upwards and then just like that we should be able to just go down there. So we're going to have to have it open up sideways because um it's just there's not enough room in this for that um then over here we can like have our battery station so we'll put like our battery like right above there and we're just gonna make it all separate and then over here we're gonna have our um two generators i think we'll have two generators but we'll do that in a whole nother video probably so let's go ahead and grab our battery here and we'll just put it there for now so we actually know that we have a battery so there we go it's starting to kind of come along in here we're gonna extend this a little bit more and then over here i kind of want to just have it to be like the computer room so now what i'm gonna do is kind of like organize all this logic and put it in certain areas there we go i say we got it pretty organized now we're just gonna kind of like have a little separator in between to block it off just so we know like kind of what's what and um yeah so we're just gonna do that and then over here we'll have like some more logic of course but we're gonna make it like a little bit of a larger area so we'll do like four blocks instead of two over there and maybe even another four ones so that should be plenty of room for um actual computers and stuff and over here i wanted to make like coolant overflow valves even though that's not even a thing in this game it's just like kind of cool and they have those on ships in real life so what we're gonna do is grab ourselves a fluid thing and then if our coolant ever um overflows which it um never will because it's storm works but you know just for show we'll have like some of these fluid things here and it will stop it from actually doing that so we'll make them blue actually should we have them gray i don't even know um we'll probably just have it gray for now i do think it looks better like that so we'll do that and then we're gonna grab ourselves a pipe then we'll just connect it up to that but we actually need ourselves a t piece here so it goes um multiple directions so there we go just like this and this should all work so what's going on back here um yep another t piece perfect then what we're gonna do is select these and actually um make sure they're filled with nothing so just make sure they're filled with absolutely nothing just so nothing can actually get inside of them and i also wanted to make like a fuel polishing system so that'll just filter our um fuel for actually like any particles or stuff so what we're gonna do is grab ourselves a pump and this is also a prop it will do absolutely nothing because that is impossible in this game unfortunately so i'll grab a pump we'll have it face like that we'll grab a pipe we're gonna add like some filters of some sort i don't know exactly how this is gonna work but we're gonna figure it out so we'll do that and then let's see if there's like any type of blocks that look like a pretty cool filter that fuel can actually still go through though i think just like the actual normal blocks would work like that so where our fuel is at we're gonna grab two fluid ports and it'll just filter out our fuel pump it in and pump it out of our actual fuel tank so we'll do that and then we're gonna grab ourselves a dial and this dial will display how clean our fuel actually is of course and we're gonna say um it's gonna be very clean because of course our fuel is gonna be clean and then this will be um enabling it so we'll do something like that i don't know if it's actually gonna work okay it has diesel in it we're gonna connect this to active to activate the fuel pump in. and we're gonna spawn this in and test our fuel polishing system all right so fuel polishing on it'll pump it in so it's pumping it in and is there actual stuff oh okay so it does work um we do have a flow in this so it'll pump it it'll pump it straight through this tank right here and this tank will like be the dirt collections or something i don't know then we have to um customize that too all right i'd say that's pretty good for a fuel polishing system so we have our pressure right here that will show how much pressure is actually going through that and there we go we got that done so now we should actually start on our workshop probably all right so i got some random props from like some random creation so what i'm gonna do is kind of copy these in my vehicle here so i'm just gonna cut this out and bring it down to our engine room and i think right here would be a good place to place this so we'll just do that and then there's some drawers actually over here um where are they at they're up here so there's some cool metal um drawers that we can actually use so we're gonna bring this down here in our engine room and then we'll put a set right there and then we're gonna put another set like right here okay that would definitely work and then we're gonna merge them in make sure they're all the right color too so we're gonna color the top of these um white even though that's not gonna be the permanent color all right so that does look pretty good right there then we're gonna actually um block this off so it doesn't look like there's really anything down there so just like that now we're gonna copy like some of the actual workshop equipment that we're gonna use just in case we need to like fix stuff um this is just 
use for um props of course um we're gonna actually have like welders and stuff inside of the boat and there's nothing we're really gonna put in this area so we're just gonna delete all this and put our um actual drill right here so i think right here would be a good spot maybe um one over um i don't even know i think we'll just put it right there paste it in there merge it in and then we're gonna block this hole off that's currently under our table right here oh but i don't want to grab a paint block then we need like an engine alternator control so we're gonna put a throttle right here and this throttle will basically um there's, there's a clutch on the alternator for some reason and then this will actually um enable it so this will enable the alternator and we'll just name this alternator clutch or something and then on this side we're gonna probably put like some basic engine information so we're gonna grab some dials and this these dials will just say like the temperature the rps um how long it's been running actually no that's probably hard i don't know how to do that so we'll just do something like that so this right here will be like the rps dial temp dial and something else dial so rps will be connected to that and then we need a uh, temperature so i made my own simple little microcontroller to get the engine temperature so we'll just put it like right here and we'll connect it all up so engine temperature will go to the dial right there and then you need to connect the composite to the engine to actually read us then we'll just name this one over here alternator clutch so we'll just grab this and connect it to that so that'll just kind of tell us if it's on or not for some reason then we're going to paint the walls in here this like interesting looking uh workshop color i don't want the walls to be brown that's definitely not like professional at all that just looks like we're in a wooden engine room which doesn't really look that cool Oh, we definitely should have done this before we put anything in here. This is going to take a long time because I have to like go behind everything and get in all the cracks and all this other stuff. There we go. We got everything painted, but I'm kind of thinking we should have uh, this lower area right here be like a gray color. I feel like that'd look good. So we're definitely going to do that. Then we're going to paint our like entire toolbox area here. Probably also this gray color. I don't know if this will look good. I think it'll be fine. Then just add like some more design over here. We're going to make like some weird stuff on the walls here. Um, this just adds like some more texture to it in depth. Um, we'll just do that. And there we go. So now that does uh, look a little bit cooler then i don't know if we should keep the floor white or color it this like dark gray color okay so i'm gonna like test this right now i'm gonna spawn it in and kind of look at it see if it looks better just on this so we're just gonna paint that spawn it in and look at how good it looks or bad of course so we're gonna spawn it in all right we're looking in the engine room here um let's put a light on here because that's how it'll look oh i think gray definitely looks better white is just a little bit too plain here so yeah we'll do gray i think i've definitely learned my lesson on like painting um before you actually build everything this is way more annoying than it could have been if i would have just painted everything beforehand because now I have to like paint around the entire like engine and all this other stuff. There we go. We got everything painted, but um, I really don't like how the floor matches the engine. So I'm kind of thinking we'll paint the engine the same color as the walls. Um, I don't know if that'll look good. I want to keep those um, manifolds white though, I think, or whatever color those are. Um, all right. So we're probably going to do this though. There we go. We got the engine painted the same color as the walls. I say, I'd say that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not bad, but I'd say now we need to add like some more props in the actual um engine room. So we're just going to grab ourselves some radiators here. So we'll just put one like right about there. Oh, wrong spot we'll put one right there and then i want one like on a, a wall so we'll just put another one like right here and we'll put one right here to like cool off the generators in the engine room then we'll put some like directly above these um engines so maybe we should grab a larger one so like a five by five maybe um that might be too big here i don't know it'll look good so we'll just put one right there and then can we fit another one no we can't actually maybe we could just scoot that one back one block i'll just move it back one block like that is it centered oh that's definitely not centered okay we'll put it right there and then we'll put the other one right about here all right that'll work so now we have some really good cooling going on in this room of course but now we need to add some cooling for the um actual computers so now we have some fans in this thing now we need to make like some random pipes in here so we'll just make some pipes connecting all the um radiators together we're not going to make it a thousand different colors like the um submarine i realize kind of how bad that looks i just really don't like all those colors we're gonna make it just plain and simple so we'll just connect the radiators to each other just like this and then we'll just line this one straight across into the wall over there okay that'll work and we're just gonna be putting some of these um random pipes also connected to the radiator fans just like that so you gotta add like some decoration or else it really won't look that good i can tell you that so we'll put that right there just line it straight to the radiator and then we're gonna line it straight through that so we're probably gonna be done in this room for now i'm definitely gonna add some more stuff off screen um it will not be recorded probably so if you see some like random stuff pop up in here that's definitely why so this is not the finalized version but now we need to start working on this outside here and then i was thinking we could just fill this entire thing with like a brown woodish color i feel like that would look good i don't really know um just let me know in the comments of course and we're gonna um change the color of this on the outside here we'll just make it brown and then i don't like how it's like actually brown through these little cracks right here how you can like plainly see that it's brown so what we're gonna do is definitely turn on symmetry we cannot forget that and paint this inside like a darker color so it kind of has like some more fade to it there we go let's spawn it in again and actually see how this looks okay so i definitely want it to be like a brown it just looks more like you know um fishing kind of like that you know um i don't want all this upper stuff to be brown i need to fix that though but i'd say we're probably gonna keep it brown so let's go and keep painting this thing and make it look good 
Then I think we're gonna paint like the entire inside of this thing like this gray color. Then the um secondary one, like the upper area, would be like a lighter gray. I feel like that'd look good. So we're gonna do that. There we go. And I decided to paint like the inside of this all gray instead of like different colors because it's like a kind of different part of the ship. So it should be um a little bit different than the normal stuff. But we're gonna line our entire like guardrail right here, the lighter gray color, like I was saying earlier. If it actually has a layer to it, it'll be this um lighter gray color if I stop painting the wrong stuff. There we go. So it'll be like this. You can barely even tell. Actually, I think we're gonna paint like the top of this a really dark gray just so we know it's actually there even though it's pretty obvious it's here we'll just do that then also i think we're gonna make this entire area up here also a brown color i don't know what other color we would have it because if we do like gray i feel like it just doesn't look like as good yeah i really just don't think that looks um that good there's just too many colors going on if we do that so we're just gonna make it brown probably we don't want to make it that brown there we go now what we're gonna do is kind of place some like props around the actual boat so we're gonna put some like piles of tires here so we'll do something like that and like that that'll look good and we're gonna do the same thing on this other side here but we can't make it like exactly symmetrical or else it'll look really weird so we'll do that um wait that is like exactly uh no it's one block apart okay we're gonna do the same thing up here so we're gonna have tires um everywhere i have no idea why we just have a tire issue i think so we're just gonna do that and that i don't know if that's like something mainly on a tugboat though i really hope it isn't because i don't want to just be putting tires everywhere if that's a tugboat thing but no i think we're fine then i also decided to grab myself a trash can um we're gonna put some right here so just in case there's like some rotten fish or something actually realistically we would just throw a back in the ocean but we're just gonna put these trash cans here um we're not gonna actually merge them in so they're gonna be loose objects they will be able to fly around hopefully that doesn't become an issue but it probably will but who cares then we're gonna put another one on the bow of the ship right here then we have like some lockers and like all this um furniture stuff i brought over here so we're gonna bring this um locker stuff i don't even know where to put it we're gonna put it somewhere in this ship so maybe like in the crew bay down here um is there any room in here i really don't think so yeah we really don't have any room for lockers down what about in the engine room the engine room kind of seems like it'd have lockers in it i don't know why um there's really not any room here we'll just get rid of this like radiator right here and we'll just put that there um lockers are definitely more important than that so all right we got lockers now then i also wanted to make a cooling system so we can cool these ballast tanks to kind of like cool off the fish and keep it the same as the ocean water so that's what we're going to do right now so we're going to grab two radiators and both of these will be connected by pumps and they'll just pump in and uh, out water from the actual tanks there. Now that we have all the pumps going the directions it should go, we're gonna connect it using pipes. So we need some pipes just like this. We're gonna make it like a little gray color like that. And we're gonna turn on symmetry because we can have that on right now. We'll do that and then we're gonna turn on symmetry for this. And now these each will have their own um, tanks. So maybe this one will go to the left and these will go to the right. We'll probably do that. So we're gonna turn these into the um, left wall right here. Um, I think we're gonna actually have to extend this using a pipe so we'll just do that and extend it one block out so it doesn't like interfere and then just like that it should go straight into this main tank but there's probably like an obstruction of some sort yeah we got ladders okay so i mean that one would work right there um we could just lower this one block i hope that doesn't like obstruct our walking i don't think it will but we'll just do that and now we just need some fluid ports and that's literally all we have to do to actually add cooling to this thing which is pretty cool now we're making it for the um, the right side over here. So I think we're going to do something like this. We'll put like a little hole in the wall and then we're just going to line these um, actually to it. So let's grab ourselves some pipes and we're going to be lining pipes. We're going to delete that because that's actually not in the right position. So we'll just change the position, make it go upwards. And same with actually we'll do that one in a bit here. There we go. So they're lined up like that. That one will continue going straight while that one curves up like this. And then we'll curve it into the port and same with that one. And then we'll grab ourselves a port like this. And there we go. So now we have actual cooling for these but we need a button to actually turn those on. We also need like temperature um, to actually see if it um, changes the water temperature. I don't think it's actually going to, but it really should. If it cools the engines down with that same um, strategy, it should cool down the water. And something we forgot to actually add that is necessary is a washing machine. That is definitely necessary. So here we got ourselves a washing machine. I don't know where we're going to put this. I think we might have to put it in like our um, actual maintenance room, which is actually below deck here. I don't know if that's safe like at all, but we're going to do that probably. Dude, these things are so big. There is no way. Um, Okay, I thought it'd be a little bit smaller at least, but no, that's way too big. Um, You know what? I think we're going to do a little bit of cheating here. We're going to cut off like the entire back part of this washer. Wait, does it actually work? Oh my gosh, it does. What? What? They actually put like logic in it. Wait, what is even going on in this? Um, Ziet, what does that mean? Um, is that like a different language? Um, yeah, I don't know what that means. You know what? It's fine. We'll just cut off the back part of the washer because we don't need that anymore. We'll just cut it off like that. And now we only have the front part. So now we can actually put this in like a smaller space. I have to delete that window and grab a smaller window, which is going to be the one by three, I think. Yeah. Then we're going to make it this gray color that they had it. And there we go. Now we have a washer, um, not a dryer yet. I think this is a washer. Yeah, that's a washer. Um, who needs a dryer, honestly? 
we'll just have it do the same thing. We'll have it like, aren't there like washing machines that can do both, like washing and drying? You know what? That's what this is, okay? That's what this is. So we're gonna put this in a wall somewhere. We definitely have enough room now. So why don't we line it like straight in this wall, like right here? Would that work? Um, I think right there would work. Anything behind it? Nope, I think we're good. So I'll actually just paste that there. And oh yeah, I forgot about that. You know, we don't need that window anymore also. Okay, then we're gonna merge it in. And there we go. Now we have a washer built into this thing. We're gonna paint this wall back here because it kind of messed it up. Then I also wanted to have like an emergency escape in the engine room just in case. I think the emergency escape would have to be like right there. Yeah, that would work. But then how are we going to climb up? So we need a ladder. We're just going to put this logic in an entirely different um, area. It's still going to be in like the logic room. So we're just going to slide right there. So all right. So now paste it in and block off this entire wall. Uh, we'll actually just do that with the ladder here. So we got our ladder. We'll just climb up this if there's ever an emergency to actually get out of there. And it blocked off our um, logic thing behind that. So that's good. And we'll grab ourselves a hatch that will open from the um, outside I think we wanted to yep just like that then we'll paint it brown on the outside here so you can't even tell it's there and it is um, brown in the inside uh and we'll paint it that normal color so there we go now we have an emergency escape hatch then we're also going to put some of these like little floaty um dingy things on our boat just in case we sink um it'll have like a general location of where we um sank at because these can actually float so it'll definitely help the rescuers help um find us so we'll put some just in random locations around the boat here then something that we also really need to do we need to add like ropes around this thing so we can actually attach this stuff so we're going to put like a rope on every single one one of those and we're gonna put like one like probably like right there let's grab ourselves some ropes and of course we're gonna make more of these that's definitely not enough we need to be able to connect to like every single part of this ship just in case so for up here we're gonna delete that last one right there we'll put that there and now we need to actually have some right here so we'll put a rope like right here and then we'll fix that in a second here and then we'll put like some right there and then i don't know if we're gonna be able to fix that that'll just kind of stick out a little bit weirdly there so we're just gonna kind of color it um yeah that'll work i guess and we can't forget to paint the top of the ropes and so what we'll do for this one right here to make it look better we'll kind of even it out just like that there we go now you can barely tell us there besides the fact that the colors there we go all right but there we go we have a whole bunch of ropes in this let's go ahead and spawn this thing in and test it out so we have a whole bunch of those little floaties which will help if we sink um a whole bunch of stuff up here which of course we'll fix on the systems video possibly tomorrow but let's go in our new engine room right here looking very nice we definitely need some lighting still but oh i really like this okay and then we have our fuel polishing system right here with our pressure gauge oh yeah um i don't know why it's kind of negative there i don't know if that's working or not but um it should be but very nice in here i really like this engine it looks super cool but that's probably gonna be it for this video let me know of course what we should add next to this thing um next video is probably gonna be our systems video so it's gonna be like actually all the um logic and we're gonna um actually build our bridge up here so it's gonna be um a whole system display stuff and we'll have like a little seat that we're in we're not gonna be driving it on this actual helm right here but this fishing boat is really coming together i would say that but make sure you guys like it subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye